how do you choose between single or double layer socks in your quest to prevent blisters? In this film, I'll explain the pros and cons of both so you can make the best choice for you. This video is powered by a thousand mile socks. Check out their range of double and single layer socks to find out which suits you best. Hi, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Films, the trail running advice and inspiration channel. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and any books or gear that I mention in any of my videos you'll find links to in the YouTube film description box below. Just click show more or the drop down arrow for details. So let's look at single versus double layer socks. If you've ever had blisters, you'll know how debilitating they can be on a long run. I suffered really badly just a few months ago on the Cape Wrath Ultra. As well as catching hotspots early on and taking care of your feet, your choice of sock can also play a big part in keeping you blister free. So, do you go for single or double layer? And what does that mean? Everyone knows what a single layer sock is. They're what we wear in everyday life. My mum always buys me several excellent pairs like this for Christmas. But much more research and design goes into a sports or running specific sock, and that's to enhance performance and comfort. They often have areas of extra padding at the midfoot and around the heel, and the upper might feature ventilation channels to increase moisture wicking and breathability. They might also have a higher ankle for more grip and less chance of the sock slipping down. It's also good to look for some form of antimicrobial treatment in the yarns to reduce the amount of foot pong. A double layer sock adds a slim, breathable inner sock to the original. The idea is that this snug fitting layer stops the friction between your shoe and your sock, which then prevents your sock rubbing your foot. This reduction in friction should also mean the material lasts longer too. The slim inner sock can be combined with different outer socks, ranging from slim and ultra breathable to thicker ones with specific extra padding at the heel and toe. So those are the differences, but which one will suit you best in your quest to prevent hot spots and blisters? I did a quick opinion poll on social media to find out what real runners consider the pros and the cons of single versus double layer socks. One of the reasons some runners prefer single layer socks is that they find their foot tends to move around more with a double layer inner sock. If you don't get the fit quite right, the inner sock can also wrinkle up as you run. Some also find the inner can change shape after being washed, and others find them a little bit harder to get on without the inner lining bunching up, especially with wet feet. And then there's the obvious fact that slim single layer socks may just be cooler and also dry quicker as there's less material there. The runners who prefer double layer socks say they're more comfortable than single layer socks, that they wick moisture very well and they give them less chance of hot spots. With the right fit, they describe the inner layer as snug and moulding to the foot, which reduces friction and eliminates blisters. One runner even described himself as a martyr to blisters before he discovered double layer socks. Another described them as miracle blister prevention socks. Others like to wear double layer socks in the winter to help keep their feet warmer. So those are the pros and cons from real runners. And this double versus single layer sock debate has been really, really interesting because it just goes to show how individual every runner's sock choices are. And that just as you'd need to try out your nutrition for different distances and climates and race types, you need to do the same with your socks. One runner summed it up really well, saying that it took trial and error to find out what suited her best. And she also gives this really good tip of taking a spare pair with you on long runs to give yourself a different option if you've made the wrong sock choice. And that does sound like a really good idea. So that's the skinny on single layer socks versus the doubles. I hope this film helps you to make a more informed choice. And I'm really interested to hear what you think too. Do you wear double or single layer socks at the moment? And what are you keen to try out next? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to buy any of the socks I've shown in this film, I know you're all keen on those owl ones from my mum, then just click on the links in the description below. And finally, thanks very much to our sponsor, A Thousand Mile Socks, for allowing me to use their socks as the examples in this film. I'm now going to be using them to death, and I will let you know in a future gear test how they fare. Thanks for watching, enjoy your next run, and I will see you on the trails.